Water. That's right. Throw my head still. All right, Nurk here. Me and Zeus are going out to hunt some of that Galaxy Edge goodness. It's going to take us all night, and we're going to go to numerous locations all over the Vegas Valley. My voice is back, and it's been a while, and I'm so happy to be here so I can actually talk and let you guys know about my adventures in the galaxy. You know, not everyone's a collector, and I understand that. But when you go out there and you find those collectibles out there in the wild, there's nothing quite like it. Your heart starts pumping, you start getting excited, your adrenaline's going. It's pretty exciting. And I know it sounds lame, but it's all about the hunt. And that's the funnest part of doing this. I really appreciate Zeus being the co-pilot here and uh, filming all of our exploits and all of the good times. Check it out. We're going far and far. Look how long it's taken us to get to the first freaking target. We had to go all the way across the valley because everything was sold out. All right, guys. We're on the hunt for Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, we are. Check this out. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. This is the last one. We lost the mic in the process. I was so excited, I forgot what was going on right now. This is Captain Cardinal. He's the best. He's red. <laughs> Shit, over here, man. Everything is empty, dude. There's nothing left, dude. Dude, we just need to go hit some other targets quick, bro, because there could be some more action figures out there. Okay. These things are like $50 right now. Yeah, they are. I paid 50 for my one that I got online. Yeah, that's the only spot right here, but actually, you know what? You're right. A little more. They might have some face for collectors over here. Baron, Baron, Baron. No, well, they don't have any right now. This is pretty cool for the 3.75 ones. Those are the small ones. It's a Black Series one, but nothing we're looking for. Okay. But this is sick, dude. Okay. Thank you. You see a lot of nerds like this guy running around <laughs> freaking out about the Star Wars toys? Not to that extreme, but that's something I've been doing. Extreme? I'm extreme? I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. I love it. G.I. Joe collectors. Oh, yeah? Those ones are bad, huh? Oh, yeah. Snake eyes? <laughs> he said, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I'm making sure we never give me here. Yeah, this is cool, dude. So I may be getting in more Star Wars later in the week. Ooh. Please. Ooh, Sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, that was a lucky find. I can't believe we were able to score Captain Cardinal. It's priceless. Good spot, because I spent all day looking all over the valley and I couldn't find any. And on the internet, it doesn't say they have any. Ooh, people are going to be happy. RJ, this is for you, bronze bucko. <laughs> Sucker. Let's go. That's just sick. That's so awesome, dude. You're a good luck charm. Thank you, Hell Zeus. Yeah. Yes, this is fucking awesome. Guys. I spent all last night from nine to ten. I drove like fifty miles to get to three different stores in one hour, and I went to all of them. They had nothing, but I did find Akbar this morning. So, Akbar, it's a wrap. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Is that the line? Whoa. Yeah, this is the legit. Like a target. That is the most legit line I've seen. At a Target. I gotta send this off to somebody. Someone's gotta see this. People gotta see this. They gotta see this special collection waiting for the peeps. You know what I mean? Gotta put that on the Instagrams. I don't have one, but if I did, it would definitely go on there. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid's got nothing on me. Except maybe this red character. Now, we're walking around a lot of other targets. We Our search is fruitless. We find nothing. But still, nonetheless, we search. And we fight to the very end. It's a rough mission. But someone has to do it. Check out that Luke. So damaged. So mangled. 
I was able to find him later on that night. But this is Garbo. Ew. For an inbox collector, it's definitely what you don't want to see. All that damage. Still a great item, though. Especially if you're taking out. Look at Jenna there. I was able to snag her for $4 off GameStop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, look at me here. This is a down vote. This is a no. Another target. Another place. Taking the long way around. You think you're going to be victorious. But you're not. I mean, sometimes you are. I was able to find a mountain trooper too. I don't think I found one in this one. But yeah, we got the mountain. I got Rex. And I got Hondo. It'll be in an unboxing later when you see Rex. Or DJ Rex or whatever his name is now. Man, some targets are better than others and they have their stuff put up. This one was one of the worst. They didn't have any of the new stuff put up. It was kind of disappointing. You would think that some, most of these places would roll out all the stuff at the same time. But just like me being a general manager of an establishment, there's better general managers around that do better jobs. So this target could use a little work here. Look at all the fun stuff that nobody wants. All the good stuff gets taken first. And of course, there's always like five D.O.s. Nobody likes D.O. Remember that. No to the D.O. Nobody likes them. That's a thumbs down. Most definitely. We got to go somewhere else. Boom. Let's roll. But I'm not done yet. I think maybe there's something else. Look, what is it? Nope. It's one of them late live cybers. At least they have the crystals, though. The crystals do make it a little bit better. Kind of cool. Ooh, rebel print. Use a rebel. Anyways, I'm looking around, trying to find the goodies. You know, I shouldn't be digging through the cart, but I don't care. There's no shame in my game. Looking everywhere, and to no avail. This target has left me with nothing. It's normal. This is normal. Well, I don't see anything. It's time to hit the freaking hay. By hay, I mean, let's go. Another target. Cruising around. Cruising around. What do we see? Voila. Nothing. Yeah, this Galaxy's Edge launch was kind of scuffed. It was really hard to find anything. All you saw was nothing on the pegs everywhere you went. It was pretty gnarly and kind of depressing. It's not enough for everybody. Because freaking scalpers and eBay. Just like the 3080. And the soon to be 3090. Totally irrelevant. Bots love these things, man. Love them. It's unfortunate. Nerding out on the X-Men. X-Men are great. Ooh, there I am. Did I find any good Star Wars? Nope. Jenna. Luke. And Ray. Oh, yeah. Of course, Dio. <coughs> no Dio. We're not liking that. Not at all. Keep it moving. Man. Look at the peg warmers. You gotta love the peg warmers. At least those 40 edition are freaking sick. I'm not gonna lie. But I do not like card backs because they bend and they look crappy over time. But those characters, nothing wrong with them. They're actually really good characters. Super awesome to be exact. My lord. All right, checking out more Star Wars gear. More of the same, huh? looking good. That Bezbin gear. Then we got the AT, AT pilot. And then million Baby Yodas. Baby Yoda's cool, but they made too much Baby Yoda product. It all seems very similar and not of the greatest quality. I was thinking about Baby Yoda. It's a gimmick. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. 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 Take it back. What about Dio? 
The op is the worst thing ever. Tastes bad. <laughs> no good. Anyways, the mission unsuccessful. Or maybe it was successful. It always is. Off to the next place. So there are too many of these things. Well, at least cool they have Blue Skywalker that isn't all jacked up. Oh, yeah. That was all. There you go. We found Luke, a better version of him. Got to get that snow speeder, Luke. Check out all these vintage collection. Ah, that's not a vintage. That's a Black Series. Good old Yoda. Once again, there's lots of them. People don't know how good they are, so just leave them on the shelf, but that's fine. I've already got them, so I don't need them. Ooh, speeder bike with a baby, baby Yoda. All right, everybody, this is a pretty cool find here. We saw this at a Target location, and you'll see in our video, there's a damaged version of it where the box is all destroyed. So we we're really lucky to find this sucker in the wild. He's looking really awesome. This is actually Snow Speeder Luke, or yeah, this is right there, Snow Speeder Luke Skywalker from The Empire Strikes Back. This is the one that he was wearing when uh, he was basically taking out the ATST. And the little di different variant on it is he has a little white cap under his helmet, which makes him look really different. The other one we have, we'll take a look at it in a second, is the original X-Wing one. And there are some variations in it. At first I thought they were really similar or the same, so I didn't want to get it. After I realized they were different and had this one in my collection, I pounced on it and I got it. It's a really good find. This phase four is really awesome, and the new designs are really cool. The artwork on it. I like it a lot. After a hard day of battle, we have Admiral Akbar to rise to the occasion. This man fought for the rebels. He was one of the greatest of the Calamari. And he was always there to fight to the very end, up until the last Jedi. This poor guy made it so long as our Admiral. But honestly, he's a really cool mold and he looks really good. The fish face, it's just oh, striking. And it has a cloth or... Soft goods. We love soft goods. They call that the soft oh, goods. Oh, yeah. And they look really, really good. It's, I've never seen that on a character before. So it obviously comes off. And there's also a plastic belt around him, too. That's a new addition. And his pistol, that looks straight from Battlefront. I know I've used that one before. That's going to be right here. It's a trap. Also, what's cool about the toy is... This is from Return of the Jedi. So this is the last battle when they actually jump onto the Death Star. Three hours later. Old scene with Lando Calrissian and Nia Noob taking- Two hours later. All right. On today's hunt, we're able to find Captain Cardinal, known as CD0922. He was Armitage Hux's personal guard and was found by Brendel Hux himself, the father of said man. He was also first known in Captain Phasma's comic book, Phasma. Arch nemesis of said enemy. They fought to the very death. Perhaps he's still alive. We'll find out. But honestly, finding this guy out there in the wild was very, very hard. I was so scared that I pre-ordered the sucker on eBay just to make sure I got one too. So we've got a second one coming and we're going to play around with him and see how cool they look. Man, this looks really, really awesome. Look at the side of the box. This is the Galaxy's Edge new edition. And I love the collector boxes and how they look so different. It always makes them really unique. And the reason I really want to have these in my collection. Man. And then looking behind it, it's got that coloration, that, that dark brown. It gives you that bat tooth feeling like we're in the desert. That's really cool. Let's read what it says back here for Captain Cardinal. Served as Armitage Hux personal guard 
and he was among the orphans that Brendel Hux took in to create the First Order from. Now he's all red. Some people might complain that he's a repaint or a reskin, but honestly, if people knew the importance of the armor and how it was kind of like a slap in his face that Phasma got the same armor as him. He was actually the initial guard for um, the Harmitage Hux and Brendel Hux. And what did that happen is when she came in, she took his spot and became the main trainer of the Stormtroopers. So when he found out that she had a, a place in the death of Brendel Hux, they had a duel in the training ground. And she had a new upgraded armor. That silver armor you see was able to block the Vibro knives. And so in a fight, he took two knife stabs from Phasma when he tried to use her own knife against her. He tried to stab her, she turned around, two knife stabs to his chest. So we don't know if he's alive, but we're gonna find out in the new Dark Spire. So let's stay tuned with Galaxy's Edge and hopefully we can find some other characters like Hondo and definitely that Mountain Trooper. Man, that's like a biker scout and a First Order Trooper making out. Oh, it's so hot. Take your toy back to the carpet. That's right. And I'm not an incel. <laughs> I don't Dude, only an insult would say that. You gotta come back. Did you do that? It out. No. Full house. Oh my god. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Mr. Papa sent me automatic in the caddy, kept the paddock, but I slanged it. Every rapper seemed to have a batting average of a maverick living as a. All right, we have all of our collection here. Take a look at Phasma and Mr. Caramel with a crimson little freaking Sith Trooper. Ooh, looking sexy. There we got the Archive Edition and the Non-Archive Edition. X-Wing Pilot, Snowspeeder. Don't forget that freaking fish face, Akbar. We love him. Ta-da-da! Nerk Arnold here, boys and girls. And today's been a journey and a mission for all of us on the light side. But sometimes when you're out there in the galaxy far, far away, you gotta go dark. And now we're going to. Today we found in Galaxy's Edge, Captain Cardinal, the red of all the troops. And now, we got a couple other stragglers with Akbar and Luke with the Snowspeeder. This will do well. We'll reserve some for the foundlings. Hope you guys liked our haul today. It was a journey out there, traveling to Target, Walmart, trying to get these hard-earned exclusives. I heard war coming on the way, so don't get your heart down, boys and girls. We're going to go out there and fight for you guys. But you know what? Sometimes it's rough and tough for you soldiers. And you know what? I got you in my sights, buddies. Yeah. Right here. But you know what else we got? Double Mando helmet. What? This is the way. Hey, guys. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. Nurk Iron here, and peace out. This is the way. This is the way.